Want your designs to truly stand out? This one simple text masking effect in Canva can turn any plain layout into a polished, eye-catching masterpiece. Let's dive in. Open Canva and import your base image. Here I have an image of a cyberpunk skull from Midjourney. Scale it up to fit in the canvas. Add your text. In my case, I'm using the word chaos. Change the font and adjust the scale, position, and rotation according to your preference. Create a new square shape and adjust its size. Make sure to leave a little space around the edges because we'll need it later. Then change its color to black. Then create a new shape and change its color to white. Place it behind the black shape and scale it up until it fills the entire canvas. Then download this image. After that, you can delete the shapes we created earlier. Select the text and go to Effects. Change the style to hollow and decrease the thickness up to one. Import the image we exported earlier. Move the text a bit, then scale it up to fit the canvas. Now, remove the background. We left a white area along the edges so that when we remove the background, the white text will also be removed, leaving only the black part. Crop the black part to the size where you want the text masking to appear. Now, crop your main image until it fits the black part. Make sure your project's background color is set to white. After that, go to Edit choose Duotone and select Custom. Then use the eyedropper tool to change the black color to white. Now save this file. Now import the image we just exported. Resize it until it fits the canvas. Desaturate the image by going to Edit and selecting Duotone. Then Bring the text back to its original position to create the outline of the text mask. Select the text mask, then use BG Remover to remove its background. Go to Uploads and import your main image once again. Adjust its size until it fits the canvas. Now remove the background of your main image. Then place it behind the text by adjusting the layer position. Right-click the image, select Layer, and choose Send Backward. I'm not quite satisfied with the color of the word Chaos, so I'll go back to its layer and adjust its color using Duotone. I don't want our design to have a straight cut edge at the bottom, so we'll create a layer mask using Canva's built-in frames. Just go to Elements, then select Frames. I'll use this one. Make sure it covers the entire bottom part for our layer masking. Drag your main image into the frame, then double click it to adjust its position inside. The head was also included in the mask, so I'll import the main image once again, fit it to the canvas, and then remove the background. Then crop the image from the bottom. Select both layers, the cropped main image, which is the head, and the frame, which is the body. Then right-click and choose Send Backward to place them behind the text. I'll change the color of the canvas, but first I'll move these layers to the side so I can select the canvas. Once it's clickable, I'll change the color to black. Then move the layers back to their original positions. Let's add more details. Go to Elements and search for Splatters. Place them onto your design and feel free to change their colors based on your preference. Once you're done with the design, you can now download it. And if you want to print your designs, head over to our website, transfersuperstars.com. We offer different services to help you print your design. For Gang Sheet Transfers, under the Gang Sheet section, click on DTF Gang Sheet Builder. Here you can choose how your Gang Sheet will be. Sizes range from 22 by 12 to 22 by 100. 
You can also select how many copies you want to order. Once you're set, click Build Your DTF Gang Sheet. When prompted, click on Start a Brand New Gang Sheet. Upload your image. Once done, click on it to open the settings, resize your image, then click on Edit Image to access this new feature on our website. As you can see, there are five tools here. Remove Background, Upscale Quality, Halftone, Crop, and Color Tools. For now, let's use the Color Tools. Select the color you want to knock out, then adjust the tolerance based on your preference. Once you're satisfied, click Remove. It might take a few moments to process, so just be patient. Once done, click Apply, and it will automatically return to the Gang Sheet Builder. Give it a moment to finalize the edits. Adjust the height and position for it to fit in the Gang Sheet. Finalize the size of your image based on your preference. Finally, click Save and then Add to Cart. The print just landed, let's take a closer look. Alright guys, it looks amazing. Honestly, it came out really well, especially with it being on Canva guys, I know we're usually Kittle, but this came out really nice. Our graphic designer did really well on this, guys. Yeah, let's take a close look at the back real quick to see how clean this came out. Yeah, even the paint splatter too. You don't even see any of the colors. Everything is completely covered in white. That's awesome. All right, this is gonna come out really interesting. All right, let's get started. We're starting off with the Smart Blank Style 402 in white. It got a clean, high-end feel, perfect for DTF printing. The shirt holds its shape, keeps its color rich, and captures all the fine detail. Pretty much the ideal base for a sharp professional print. I dropped the link in the description if you guys do want to check that out yourself. Next up, we're also firing up the Fever 15 by 15 heat press. Guys, this thing has been solid for us. It has steady temps, consistent pressure, and it's powered through countless presses without messing a beat. All right, guys, let's continue. So I have already pre-aligned my laser only because I don't have already preset lines for the <laughs> press right now. So I just wanted to already have that preset uh, just so I know where I'm setting it up. And then we have our shirt right here. We're just gonna align it as so. Again, collar has to be all the way up. looks good okay and then for this design we are also going to go to the edge of the design and just hit the edge of it not like a crazy indentation just enough like that. so since this is sticking out I don't want to pull this up and then have this move so I'm just gonna press it twice so here's the first press. I could have pressed it once, could have put some tape on it, made it a little bit faster, but it's fine. I just want it to stick on there real quick. I'm just gonna do a quick one and then now pull it up just so I can have it stick on there without having to use any type of tape. Okay, I was like, did I align this wrong? Okay, now we do the full press. Again, I just wanted to make sure it stuck on there. I felt like that would be an easier way than just using tape. Just a quick little press to make sure it sticks and then pull up the shirt. All right, so I'm gonna turn off the laser. It is very hot. With the solid image, you can just pull it straight away. And then we want to add some texture because I do see some texture within the actual like, you know, image. So might as well just put a, a matte finishing sheet. 
and then we're gonna press it again. Good, it's supposed to be a seven second press, but with this heat press, it goes increments of five. So the 10 second, it's not a, it's not a bad thing. We'll allow it this time. <laughs> All right, now let's take a closer look at it. guys let's take a look at it it looks clean guys it came out so nice every every bit of the edge too as well you don't see any of the white it looks clean i love the look at it everything about it i don't know if you also see that shine uh, i don't know if you could kind of like see it reduced that shine and it has like more of a, a textured feel and look to it i don't know if you could see it from here yeah so i gave it a little bit more of a, a texture to it i could feel it on the roughness yeah this this came out really well guys all right awesome and there it is a smooth flawless press our digital design from canva brought to life and looking clean from blank to finished piece that's the full process guys if this video sparked an idea or helped you out don't forget to like drop a comment with your favorite part and subscribe for more dtf print breakdowns and creative builds. Appreciate you guys watching. Catch you guys on the next one.